a warm welcome for everyone to session number 34 in the part of react learning series in this session we will continue our discussion about use context hook in react in our last video we had discussed about how do we use context in react to pass the employee data from app component to its descendants resulting we were able to access the employee data in both employee component and in salary component now what if if we want to update the employee salary in the salary component or what if if we want to update the employee data from any of the child components and we wanted that update to be visible in all the remaining components of the tree let's see how do we do that let's open index.js file from our demo project we have created three components called as app component employee component salary component currently we are displaying the employee salary only in the salary component now let's display the employee salary in both app component as well as in employee component so that we can visualize the salary change value in all the components but in the app component we get the salary value from our employee object from app component we are passing employee object to its descendants using value property of the provider now we wanted our descendant components to update this employee data in order to update this employee data we have a function called as set employee we can pass even this function to the child components along with the employee data using the value attribute so let's modify this let's create one object which will hold both the employee data and the set employee function let's add a property called as data this name can be anything and this will hold the employee object and let's pass another property called as update employee and to this property we will pass our set employee function we are passing employee object and set employee function to the descendant components through our value attribute now let's go to employee component if we observe we are reading the employee details using the context object but now our context object is having two properties one is data and the second one is update employee the employee data is available for us through a property called as data so we say context dot data dot id and we repeat the same for name and salary as well Now we will go to our salary component and we do the same changes even in salary component. Now we will place one button in the salary component using which we will update the employee salary. Let's handle on click event of this button. Now let's implement this function. Within this update salary function, using the context object, we will call update employee function. So we say context dot update employee, and to that update employee, we will pass our employee object. We get that using spread operator context dot data, which gives us the employee object, and we will pass the updated salary, assuming that we would like to update the salary to a value called as 15,000 when we call this function we are updating our employee object and to that object we are passing salary as 15,000 save the changes let's navigate to the browser we can see the output here and we can see that the salary value is being displayed in all three components now let's click on update button and we can see that the salary gets updated in all three components we have updated the salary in the salary component and that change can be seen in rest of the components as well let's extend this example to deepen our context understanding to our employee object we will add a new property called as employment type it can be either permanent or contract now if the employment type is contract we have to display the contents of one component and if the employment type is permanent 
we have to display the contents of another component. Let's add two more components to our code. One component is permanent and the other component is contract. Let's go down. I have the code handy and I'm pasting it here. Now let's go to our app component. To our employee object, let's add another property called as employment type. Let's assign contract as the value. Now let's go to our employee component. We have to check the employment type and if the employment type is permanent, we should render permanent component, else we will render contract component. Whenever there is a change in the employment type of our context object, the respective component contents needs to be presented here. So here we say employee context dot consumer. This consumer is a React component that subscribes to context changes. This component requires a function to be passed as a child. That function receives the current context value as the input and it returns a React element. So let's write that function here. It takes the context value as the input value dot data dot employment type is equals to permanent then we will render permanent component else we will render contract component we are using a component called as consumer component and within that component we are receiving the context value and we are validating the employment type using that context value and then if it is permanent we render permanent component else we render contract component now let's place a button in the employee component using which we can change the employment type. We will handle on click event. Let's implement this function. Within this function, we will change the employment type of our employee object. Context dot update employee and to that we will pass the employee object we use spread operator and then we will change the employment type to permanent save these changes navigate to the browser we can see the output here we can see that by default we get the contents of contract component now let's click on make permanent button and we can see that we get the contents of permanent component. With this, I hope we are very clear on how to use use context in React. Thank you for watching this video and have a great day.